As part of the novel, new and well-reported concept of the mosaic of autoimmunity, which describes the complex interaction between genetic, environmental and immunological factors affecting the development of autoimmune diseases, a novel and literally hot subject was discovered, and this is the spicy food and its relation to autoimmune diseases. So spices have been an integral part of culinary cultures around the world and have a long history of use for cooking, flavoring, and preserving food, as well as for medicinal purposes. In fact, it is estimated that as many as three quarters of the entire world population consumes spices on a daily basis. And among the different kinds of spices, chili peppers are the most popular used in all over the world. So the beneficial effects of spices are related to their bioactive ingredients, such as capsaicin. Capsaicin is a phytochemical which is responsible for the characteristic hot taste of these plants. It belongs to a family of capsaicinoids which are compounds that are produced as secondary metabolites by the pepper, secreted from the glands located at the center of the pepper. So actually capsaicin creates a sensation of burning in any tissue it, with which it comes into contact and therefore it was presumably designed in order to protect those plants from being eaten. But humans, of course, ignore this polite warning. The beneficial effect of capsaicin has been long documented in small or large experimental studies showing that capsaicin is used as an analgesic. It also has anti-cancer properties discussed in an extensive review based on the finding that the population with higher consumption of spices, such in Thailand, for example, have a lower incidence of cancer. And as well, another Studies showed that ingestion of red pepper was associated with a reduced risk of obesity and overweight. So this data consequently encouraged investigators to test whether capsaicin has an effect in autoimmune diseases. And indeed, the capsaicin receptor TRPV1, which is a calcium permeable ion channel, is exp expressed on both innate and adaptive immune cells with immunomodulatory effect and pro-inflammatory effects. Few examples are type one, type 1 diabetes, where oral ingestion of capsaicin has been found to show immunomodulatory effect and protects the nod model mouse uh, from type 1 diabetes through enhancement of specific population of macrophages. Actually, the investigators postulated that the mechanism for this protection is based on a direct sensing of capsaicin by those macrophages in the, DI, in, in the GI tract, which leads to a T-cell suppression effect and protection from autoimmune disease in the pancreas. Another uh, extraordinary example is with rheumatoid arthritis, another chronic autoimmune and important disease, which we are currently facing several resistant cases despite novel pharmacotherapy in RA. So actually, a recent study demonstrated the desensitization and inactivation of capsaicin fibers, which densely innervate the joints, leads to a more severe characteristic of arthritis, including joint edema and increased metalloproteinous activity showed in an autoimmune arthritis model of the mice. So in fact, capsaicin is a natural product consumed worldwide, and it has amazing effect showed in large or small experimental studies. The potent influence of capsaicin on the immune system is clear. However, the direct mode of delivery and the mechanism by capsaicin does its effect on the immune system are yet to be further investigated.